if there's anything Toronto's downtown core is known for, it's condos and lots of it. And it seems every time we take a turn in the city, another development is set to go up. But this ever going concrete jungle with very little green space leaves us vulnerable to flooding. And we've seen exactly how much damage downpour can cause. A world class architect in town for a unique condo design uh, has designed a couple of uh, his projects worldwide and says he can tackle some of these issues. If all people are different, why are almost all uh, apartment buildings the same? Uh, and if you look at Toronto, you can say the last couple of decades has, has very much been dominated by the, the big uh, tower on the podium. And uh, we thought we could break it down. So we've created almost a man-made uh, mountain of houses with gardens. Bjarke Ingalls is behind the next big thing to hit King Street, a condo building with hundreds of terraces. Construction will start next summer and finish in three years. The Danish architect is partnering up with West Bank founder Ian Gillespie to bring something that so many of the city's downtown residents crave, greenery. 85% of Canadians live in cities today. And one of the things that I think that they are lacking uh, is, an, uh, is nature um, in the urban environment. Engels is behind many structures and buildings around the world, including in New York, where the dryland project is in progress. It's a system that surrounds a vulnerable part of Manhattan with the intention to address climate vulnerabilities like hurricanes. This approach of trying to combine social and environmental benefit with sort of a resilient necessity uh, is, a, is, a, is a recipe that I think uh, could work in, in, in many cities across the world and, uh, and definitely also Toronto. In the last few years, the city of Toronto has experienced disastrous storms causing major flood damage. The August 7th rainstorm alone caused tens of millions of dollars. Ken Greenberg, an urban designer who has teamed up to work on the King Street project, says developments in Toronto should build with climate change in mind. These are occurring much more frequently, so everything that gets built nowadays has to take into account that greater vulnerability. Greenberg is part of a team that proposed a $1.25 billion flood protection initiative funded by the three levels of governments. The project is 10 years in the making and will transform part of the downtown area into a parkland that is designed to be flooded, rerouting the water from the Don Valley River. Moving a river, as you can imagine, is no small thing. So uh, it's reshaping all of the land around the mouth of the Don River. This is designed to create an enormous capacity for the river to expand from really a very narrow, slow-moving body of water to uh, a raging torrent coming down the Don Valley. And Greenberg tells me the contracts for this project have been handed out and work is set to get underway anytime now.